All right, warm Sunday evening long weekend here in Vancouver. This is cycle 45. Um, because I am going to be doing a little fewer than I thought, I'm going to start picking and choosing uh, which ones I'm, I'm actually uh, animating. Uh, I'd had a bunch of cycles or a bunch of drawings put aside, and I'm not going to use them all. So I'm skipping one here. I'm going to my what was going to be my initially 46th cycle, and I'm going to be calling this one 45. So I'm going to have to be redoing some renumbering or something. I I'm generally very uh, strict on myself with my final maintenance. You see how I've got these uh, listed out here? So uh, yeah, this is uh, it's just all part of the process, keeping track of things, making sure that my naming conventions are all consistent and uh, uh, that nothing's going to fall through the cracks. But yeah, this one here, uh, I looked at this for a few minutes and I was recently watching some old, uh, old Bugs Bunny cartoons from the 40s, 1940s, and uh, I'm going to try something a little different here. So. 12 drawings on this, 24, draw, a 24 frame cycle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up drawing 1, and I'm going to do a drawing 4, a drawing 7, and a drawing 10. And a reminder that 1 is the same as 13. So I'm going by 3s, 1, 4, 7, 10, 13. And I'm just going to have the character smearing from one pose to another, smearing to another, smearing to another, smearing to another, and then going back to the first one. And uh, if you watch any old uh, cartoons, uh, Dover Boys was the first one I'm aware of. Uh, where they really just started incorporating smears, and uh, you'll see what I mean by smears. Uh, a, a smear being just a, an artistic way of getting from one drawing to another without really any regards to structure of the character, uh, not, not thinking at all about realistic uh, ways of moving. It's just about, this is a 2D image, I'm just going to abstractly move, from this pose to this pose, and uh, it's going to feel like, whoa, how did that happen? That was so quick. That was so uh, just free in its motion. It wasn't, uh, hey, I'm going to bend my knees, and I'm going to lead with the hips, and I'm going to drag behind the body, and I'm going to have overlap and secondary uh, motion. None of that is applying here. Uh, of course, we can overlap. Uh, what's going on by saying, hey, something's going to start going faster, something else is going to go slower, but not thinking about, well, this is the way that the skull is shaped, and this is what happens when you rotate it. It's all just about taking those drawings and making them into art, basically, uh, and, and saying this is what's going to be an appealing way of getting from one place to another. So, all that being said, uh, I am skipping the step of roughing things out. I'll be going straight to clean, so that's going to lead to some interesting challenges for myself, let's say, because uh, when I do these drawings, I'll be thinking about how it's going to get from one to the next, but really those smear drawings are going to be the ones that are, they're going to be doing all the heavy lifting here because the extremes that I draw are not going to necessarily be friendly to thinking about what came before and after. All that being said, that's a lot of talking. You'll see what I mean when it's all done. Uh, and yeah, this is uh, one of the, the joys of 2D animation, is uh, the ability to just not have to worry about, about uh, you know, a 3D rig or drawing the character from a specific angle. It's just all about, hey, let's get from A to B, and uh, we'll do it in the funnest way that we can think of. All right. Let's see how far I get in two hours. This one is uh, different than any of the other ones that I've done. Well, this is sure interesting. I'm seven minutes ahead. I think I'll call it a day on this one. 
I came up with some really cool drawings on this. The motion is gonna be extremely disjointed, more so than I thought. I was thinking I was just gonna go with a very, very graphic-y smear, just colors going from one to the next shape. But as I was getting into it, I found that I was just doing structure. You know, I mean, stretched out structure, but uh, I was just, I, I gravitated towards the structure rather than just the graphic-y shapes, so I went with it. But um, I don't, that's a, that's a fun drawing. I just don't know how this is going to animate because it's going to pop into here and then it's already out of there. I feel like this is one where I would have to change the timing to give uh, the fast drawings, put them on ones, and then put the slower drawings on the ends, maybe on threes, or, you know, do more tweens, do more in between. So I'd end up with, say, 16 drawings instead of 12, but that's not going to happen here. What's going to happen here is we're just going to go as it is. I might shift the timing around a bit. But, uh, yeah, this was fun. This was a good exercise. Uh, the very first drawing I did, uh, it might show up on the time lapse. It will for a few, you know, maybe a quarter of a second. I, I had taken up all the space up here, and it was just, I did not like that drawing. The more I drew it, I just, I, I ended up, I think, sinking five or six minutes into that, and I just deleted it, started over, took the loss. Because it wasn't going to, it was not going to be fun drawing the drawings going in and out of that one if I'm not having fun drawing that drawing. So this drawing was fun, this drawing was fun, this drawing was fun. So getting in and out of those drawings, yeah, equally fun. And this one, you know what, as I got towards the end, I think this is the one I was happiest with. Just because it was giving a lot of, uh, a lot of abstract shapes. Look at, there's no chin on the character there, but it was also... Just, it was very appealing drawing, and I think it animates well. This one over here is a lot of fun, but it's not animating nearly as well, especially with the face there. Oh, all right, well, yeah, just under two hours. Let's give it a play. Okay, and yeah, I took up all the whole, the whole amount of the screen, so I'm happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, that's fun. Bum, 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 If I'd planned it out better, I might have gone bottom corner, top corner, and then opposite corners in more of an X shape. Because, the it, yeah, I'm ending up starting in the middle. I can't go left and right as much there. I go right to left big time on that one. But then I just kind of feel like oh, I'm just letting go and going to the ground and then stepping to the side. Yeah. That's fun though, that's working. It's uh, pretty frantic. <laughs> it's pretty, <laughs> it's, it's pretty uh, over, uh, uh, over uh, visually overwhelming. Just uh, there's just so much there to take in. Uh, colors might help sell it, but yeah, okay, cool. It's a good experiment. Uh, I think that'll be useful in a certain context uh, within the short film. It's, yeah, definitely different. It's, it's going to hold its own little place for a couple seconds there because it's not going to relate to anything else that's uh, going on there. Looking at the feet as they uh, hit each place of the ground, for the most part, they're, each foot is on the ground for three drawings anyway, for the, I think, for all of them, so that gives us enough time to read it. Generally, six frames is the minimum you need to read something, but this is definitely just hitting the minimums here. Okay, well, that was fun. Pardon me. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to renumber this one as uh, cycle 45. And moving forward, getting towards the end, uh, we're just going to keep going on this and uh, putting them together into short film. Uh, almost done. This has been a, a terrific uh, series. Um, I'm glad that I've been able to record these. And uh, I know 20 years from now, I'll be looking back on these and uh, watching probably the whole two hours rather than just the 10 minutes I've condensed it to here. And uh, yeah, yeah, looking back fondly at this time is good, good stuff. All right, thanks. Take care.